Hi everyone, it's Alex from Risk Academy, and today I wanted to quickly touch on the topic of risk management certification. There are plenty of different options available on the market, and uh, the big question is, well, how do you choose one that works that works for you? And, and the reality, the reality is, um, is that there are really three things to look at choosing a, a a certification, any kind of certification, but specifically for risk management in this video. So the first sort of the first decision is easy, the first fork in the road. There are really two options. Certification for risk managers in financial services or non-financial services companies, basically in the corporate risk management. There are options available for financial services and they're quite good, very reputable. And there are many options available for the non-financial services. They're quite, they're much younger. They really have less history, and they have evolved. And there's really, there, there really isn't one dominant uh, force in the world. So, since I'm a corporate risk manager, I will park the discussion about financial risk management certifications for the time being, and focus on the non-financial. Uh, um, companies uh, risk management certification and there are three things to consider when selecting any certification program certification is after all two things it's a certificate that you get and you can use it for your um, employer or your job seeking purposes or for your personal um, self advancement um, and and the knowledge that you acquire by uh, studying for the certification by doing the exam by um, by reading all the materials that you should be reading or by attending a training in the preparation for the certification. So your ultimate objective is the certificate, piece of paper, and uh, the skills and knowledge and different ideas and maybe even tools that you get as a result of uh, doing the certification. And, and that's uh, and that's after all the most important thing. So the three things that you need to look at are is the piece of paper recognized by um, your employees and, and the reality is most employees uh, would accept most risk management certification there really hasn't been that much of a distinction in the market so far for the employee to say no I explicitly want this one and not that one um, that's unlikely to happen. So on the first sort of on the first point, most most certifications uh, in risk space and non-financial risk space are on par. So what's the second reason? The second uh, uh, reason is uh, what's the uh, reputation? What's the um, wh what's the organization history? The one that provides certification. Most national. Uh, international associations provide a risk management certification in different countries. Some uh, non -for -profit, most of those organizations are non-for-profit. Non uh, some of those organizations went global and uh, they started providing certification in their country, then moved to sort of to the rest of Europe or the rest of Asia um, or the rest of UA or the, the rest of uh, North America and Latin America. So you need to look at, well, what is the company? Who's, who's behind that certification? And it has to be a diverse group of people that uh, um, put their knowledge and skills and experiences into creating that certification. Um, you know, be aware of certifications prepared by, you know, a small group of, uh, of people who are all specializing in insurance or all specializing in uh, uh, just uh, financial risk or just you know, health and safety risk or just uh, corporate risk. So look at the diversity of the team that worked on preparing the certification. Look at the organization standing behind that certification. Because they, that's the organization that you will build the relationship with and that relationship will be ongoing. That's the organization that you will continue to participate in the events that they host. Um, that's the organization that uh, you would go for any ad hoc training or any ongoing training to basically get your CPE credits uh, from uh, from the time you get your certificate. So you want that organization to be something special, somebody you want to build a relationship with. And the final, the third point, which to me personally is absolutely critical, because on the second point, most organizations, again, are on par. Um, they all went through a thorough due diligence process in creating their, um, their risk management certifications. 
the final thing that I would look at is the actual quality of the skills, quality of the tools that you will get by doing the exam. The exam itself is, well, is actually not that important in my mind. The preparation for the exam, the knowledge that you get, the skills that you get, this is what's critical, absolutely critical. And saying that, I think any modern day certification, exam, preparation, all the modules surrounding that should really fundamentally focus on uh, two major things and that's integration of risk management risk analysis into decision making business processes basically certification should not be about how to do risk assessments no one in the world cares about risk assessments what it should be about is how to take that tool risk assessments and how to take other tools like decision trees or simulations or scenario analysis and integrate that into the day-to-day -day decision making, integrate it into procurement, integrate it into production, into maintenance, into budgeting and everything else that the company does. So there should be a major focus on integration into decision making and into the business processes. Unless this is the case, this is like the first warning sign that maybe your certification is, is just outdated because this is where the world of risk management is going. And the second thing that any kind of certification should be focusing on is uh, uh, risk culture. Basically spending a lot, a lot of time understanding the history behind how human brain works, the science behind how, how human brain works, the science behind you know, more than 200 cognitive biases that have been discovered by two Nobel, Nobel Prize winners as well as about you know a dozen other uh, other very respect, respected scientists um, study about the developments in risk culture in neuroeconomics and everything associated with how humans actually behave in the situations of uncertainty and how humans actually make decisions under uh, under uncertainty so I think if you have all those three in place then you've got yourself a winner and uh, good luck finding the right certification for you do sign up for the Risk Academy channel on YouTube for now thank you and goodbye